So, you're interested in using Renoise, but on first glance it looks a little complex. Well, don't be put off. This video will quickly get you started by demonstrating the basics of the program, and soon all of this will seem very natural. When you launch Renoise, you'll be presented with the Welcome panel. If you've disabled or dismissed it, just click on the logo at the bottom right corner to bring it back. This provides links to the manual, forum and website, and there are also tabs which show the files that have been recently loaded and saved, as well as quick access to the demo and tutorial songs. Looking at how these songs play can be a great way to learn about how Renoise works. So just double click on one to load it in, and hit the play button at the top left, or press spacebar. To stop the song, either hit stop or press the spacebar again. Ok, very nice, but let's load in a simpler example and take a closer look at what's going on. The demos and tutorials can be quickly accessed at any time via the help menu and let's choose the ducking sidechaining song. Now, looking in the instrument selector at the top right here, we can see that this song contains three instruments which you can select by clicking on them. By the way, this right section of the interface should already be open, but if it's not, just click the button here. Instruments can be played with the computer keyboard, which is laid out like a piano. This virtual keyboard is always enabled, with the blue keys representing the current octave, green keys the upper octave, and red the octave above that. The large central section of the interface is the Pattern Editor, where notes are recorded and played back. Recording notes to create your own song is a pretty lengthy topic, so we'll cover that in a different video. For now, all you need to understand is that this central bar is the current song position, and as it moves down, it plays any notes it encounters. You can see here that the actual notes are shown, C and E in the 4th octave. The two numbers next to this show the instrument that is played. 00, zero is the kick drum, and zero 01 the bass. Different instruments are typically recorded into different tracks. The main reason for this is so you can control how they sound with effects, shown at the bottom here, since each track has its own separate set of effects. This section is called the Pattern Editor because the rows of lines from the top to the bottom are what is referred to as a pattern. A song is created by playing through a sequence of these patterns, and this sequence is arranged in the Pattern Sequencer on the left. If you've got an extra section open here, then this button is active, but it doesn't matter for this video. Anyway, the sequence is created by inserting and arranging patterns, which can be simple repeats of previous patterns, or new ones which contain a new, different set of notes. As a song plays, it moves down the pattern, playing the notes. Then when it reaches the end of the current pattern, it moves on to the next in the sequence. It keeps moving down like this until it reaches the end, where it will go back to the start again, unless you tell it to do something different.
And that's the basics of renoise. You record instruments into a sequence of patterns. Of course, there are a lot of other powerful features to explore, which we'll be doing in future videos.